traffic ashes. In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can use the pass option here of custom shapes. And I'm just going to quickly say shape, pass, pixels. Just go for the pass option. You need the custom shape tool selected and select a custom shape. It's one's from a graphic extras one of mine. I'm just going to quickly apply that path. Now, you can actually use this with the scripted patterns. Uh, you can use it with a few of them, so two, I should say. So I'm just going to go fill, and it comes up with options here. Place along path works with. Also, it works with the random fill. Now, it just works on the, obviously on the stroke itself. It doesn't fill the actual design. So uh, I'm just going to see select a pattern. Uh, it works probably best with like 100 by 100 patterns, very small patterns. That's about standard ones with uh, Photoshop first place. Click OK. Comes up with a dialog. And now the random fill would normally fill the entire document, but in this case you can actually set a maximum distance from path. This is normally disabled, so this this feature, once you've actually got a path, you can actually use it and actually just fills the path with these designs. Again, you can apply it multiple times. You don't have to apply it just once. You can apply it multiple times. Build up maybe layers of, of complex patterns, different patterns as well, possibly. Right, change density, etc. usual sort of things. Maximum scale factor, make it a bit bigger. Change the color randomness, etc. Click OK and it will apply it now all the way around the design. And of course, let's say you can apply it again. Let's say change. Change the actual pattern. And just apply again. And there you have, you've got actually a quick and easy way of creating fairly more unusual and sort of complex stroke designs to a path. Hope you found this of interest.